The input of local herbs into mainstream agriculture could mean more business for local farmers. Growing herbs is not merely for local consumption, but is also being used in the processing of commodities such as herbal teas for local, regional and international markets. Caribbean agro-producers has been producing herbal teas since 2006 and has succeeded on regional markets. Stocking herbal teas in over 180 stores in Jamaica is just the tip of the iceberg for the company. According to CEO of Caribbean agro-producers Dr. Gail Defoe, a steady supply of fresh herbs is needed to gain a bigger share of the trillion dollar industry. Farmers that we want to get into have to be engaged, they have to be aware, and the markets are different, and so we have to be very conscious of the farmers that we get, but I think it would be really interesting, especially in young people, to actually be a part of a growing market. As I said, we talk about million dollar markets, and we talk about billion dollar markets. When we talk about herbs, we're talking about a trillion dollar market. That's what herbs are right now in the world, a trillion dollar market. Local farmers have been encouraged to move into increased production of local herbs. Dr. Defo says that would mean Dominica would have a steady supply of fresh herbs to offer to the world, a world that is hungry for the potent ingredients found in what she calls green gold. The active ingredient in here is now being produced by a German pharmaceutical. It's being used to treat five of the most difficult to treat cancers. The doctor who was behind this, this came from the Maroons of Jamaica who had used it for 500 years to treat cancers. And the doctor behind this is Dr. Lawrence Williams of Jamaica. He was recently offered $11 billion to make him because he was the one behind the pharmaceutical company who is now producing it as a um, pharmaceutical and he turned it down. So that's not enough. As we're not talking about a billion dollar market, we're looking at trillion dollar markets. I'm speaking about one herb. Okay, I can take another herb here, Lori Flower. Extremely good, even for HIV. Extensively used by China for 2,000 years. This is marketed to be one of the top herbs to be researched over the next couple of years. We have them all in Dominica. We have them all in Dominica. I'm talking about the potential that there is in the market for herbs. We haven't scratched the surface yet. I'm just looking at two herbs. I'm not talking about what I have researched. I'm talking about what is international research, but available to us within our country. Director of Agriculture Ricky Bruman says farmers should see this type of agriculture as a business. We have had discussions, myself, we have had discussions with um, Dr. Defoe, and um, I know where she's coming from. And, and, and it's something that, that farmers themselves have to um, break away from, from a cycle of doing some things traditional. And um, we want to engage them. To start thinking outside of, of you know your, your normal um, way of doing business, um, herbs provide a, or present a very good opportunity and provide for the um, opportunity to, to make money. Um, and, and so the discussion that we've had is, is to hopefully um, looking at some farmers that will do things for her. Um, they are not only herbs from. But there's also the idea of ginger, growing ginger for her. And um, we have to select um, a group of farmers, work with them, who will understand to the price mechanism. Um, because at the end of the day, um, she processes. It's a lengthy process getting the herbs from the field, drying them, processing, bagging, and then putting them on the shelves at supermarkets here and abroad. General Manager Guy Scott said it's much easier to get local farmers to grow the herbs, leaving the company to concentrate on producing the finished product. It, it's um, not just for our industry, but for every single uh, person who produces herbs and uh, produces anything in Dominica. Production, we need more farmers to participate. Most farmers in Dominica are in their own gardens, producing their own things. Um, they need to start helping us in, in production. That would boost our production immensely because we spend a great deal of time growing herbs, um, more time growing herbs than we do actually producing herbs. So if we had other people producing herbs, then we could really concentrate on our core focus, which is production. Caribbean agro-producers generates 20 different capsules, 17 teas, 4 tinctures, gourmet ginger syrup, coconut oil and coconut water. They use 30 different herbs which are all grown locally. 
It's an opportunity that the Ministry of Agriculture is not prepared to pass up on. It's about um, managing your farm to, to, to make money. And um, that's where it is at. We, we don't send farmers out there to, to waste their time. And, and so the selected farmers that would do that would have to be of the understanding that um, it's another um, enterprise on farm that will that will help the farm family. And so it's a win-win situation in the end. For GIS News, I'm Nisha Charles reporting. Thanks, Nisha.